We live in a modern, technologically enabled and connected city. Urban areas, suburban areas, high density, moving at the speed of light. We love our modern life. But then bad things happen. Exogenous shocks beyond our control. Show up. Mr. Murphy has something to say. The most likely effect is the loss of the power grid from power generation through power transmission to our homes, the equipment en route, and the equipment sitting in our street. It all enables the number one utility, power, which is what we use to work from home, search our social media lives, and find out all the information that's going on in the world. So when our grid goes down, what do we do? Well, every one of us run out to our cars, plug in our smartphone to charge them up, not understanding that we're burning fuel, which can't be pumped during a power outage, and we're gonna make sure our vehicle can't go anywhere if we need to evacuate. The option we have is to build what we refer to as your minimum acceptable power profile. Now you could have a massive solar generation at your house, but the reality is we need to figure out what that minimum amount of power we need so we have just what is required to keep the minimum base load going until such time as return. Now there are a lot of things that we need to consider. Number one is the lighting. Candles will do it. They're beautiful, wonderful ambiance. You may need a flashlight or two here and there. You're going to need some sources of information. Well, nothing better than a fantastic crank radio that doesn't require any energy. And when you think about your exposure to this most likely event, think about the intersection of hazard, exposure, and vulnerability. It often brings fear, uncomfortable, and stress. What we need to do is have a plan. And it starts with the basics. How do we provide clean drinking water? How do we provide food? Is it just going to be canned? Or we want to cook great meals for our family to keep them happy? We're going to need some fuel to make sure that goes. Are we going to use alternate energy? And guess what? Without coffee, what's the purpose? You could try to run this on batteries, but batteries are going to take you forever to try to power the minimal acceptable standard in your household. We can look to often different sources of power generation, like a home jackery kit, like this Explorer 500 that simply powers the minimum amount of power that I need in my house. And when I'm on the go or just for my smartphone connecting to the world, a simple solar power generator device like this costs $30 on Amazon is all I need. So what you need to do in your home is sit down and determine what is that minimum acceptable level of power required to meet the standard. Do you have medications at home? Do you have people with medical needs that require refrigeration? Do you have a stockpile of food in a freezer that you might lose in an elongated power outage? These are considerations that are going to be different across every family. So understand across what you need for your minimum acceptable power load, be able to then look at the options to generate that power. Gather up all of the power needs, put it together, measure it in watts or amps, and then determine what you're going to use to power it. You have a minimum power profile for you and your family in times of grid down. It is different and separate from you, which is why downloadable PDF plans off the internet don't work. Create a plan for you and your family. I think you're worth it. Brought to you by Preparedness Labs Incorporated, a research and education firm dedicated to emergency preparedness and the owners of Inside My Canoe Ed, a social media brand and publisher of Preparedness Simplified, book one, the beginning, a guide to individual emergency preparedness. Take care and stay safe.